everybody, it's me, Teddy Easy Recipe, and today I am doing a stew, ribs, called costilla guisa, in, in, in Spanish, and it's actually uh, the ribs, and it's like a stew, oh my god, you guys just don't know how I've been wanting to do a video, I have, trust me, I can send them to you. I did two stuffed peppers and my camera shut off on me completely. So bear with me guys. If this camera shuts off, I'm going to do it in two set um two things. I don't think it's going to. Um but I'm going to tell you once I get to the end of this video and I've run uh, my storage is getting full, I will cut the video off because I know it's done there's no more to show you so I'm going to get started here before this subject um, drives me nuts okay anyways I don't want to move my camera around too much because like I said it's me again by myself okay I have my meat these are ribs cut into pieces okay it's going to have potatoes oregano adobo and garlic it's also going to have carrots and um, sofrito. So my first thing I'm going to do is to get this in there. Everybody knows I always put water in my pan. I'm going to put some in there. I'm going to put the pieces of meat in there. It's got a little water in it. So it's late, but happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. To all you cutie patooties. I'm sorry, I'm looking for my stuff. I have my stuff here and my husband moves it. But anyways, this is a stew with ribs. You take your ribs, like I said, and you cut them in small pieces like this. Or you can leave them whole if you want. I normally do leave mine whole because I'm a glutton. I want a big piece. So, I'm going to show you everything. I am going to put some garlic salt in here. Remember, guys, put it to your taste. To your taste. We're going to put some. And remember, this is um, pork. And um, pork does eat salt. So we'll put that in there. That's like about three. Yeah, I said a three teaspoons. No, yeah, about three, not even three teaspoons, maybe a little less. Oregano, about a teaspoon. About a teaspoon. In the adobo, you put as much as you want. If you like salt, put it in. If you don't like salt, put less. And you let this come to a boil. I put just a little water until it comes to the boil because more water is going to go in here, okay? More water is going to go in there. And here's my good old homemade sofrito. And yeah, don't get greedy with your sofrito. I'm going to show you. Do not dare. Do not do this. Do not dare put two of them in there. Don't. Use your... There you go. There you go. I would put two of these in there. Two of these. If you put two small ones, you're not getting no flavor. All your flavor is in the sofrito. Your meat is going to taste good because you are not afraid to use sofrito, okay? I will be pausing my video once this starts boiling and get ready to cook because this is going to take like 45 minutes to an hour, all right? There, oh my God, oh my heavenly father, that tastes good. Yes. I'm gonna put my sofrito away. I don't need no more in there. If you wanna put three of them, you can. I will be adding more water to this, so I probably will be adding like a half or more. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this till it boils. Okay, it, as you can see, it's to a boil. I'm gonna push it back just a little bit. Just a little. 
has come to a boil. I don't want my camera to fall, which it was falling. There we go. All right. As we all see, it came to a boil. All right. It has come to a boil. We are going to boil this for at least 40 minutes. If you want it, if you want it real tender, go ahead. Let it boil for 40 minutes. At this point, I don't need no more salt in it. So I'm going to pause this for at least, it's 6.15 now, as you can see on my clock. So I should be back like about 6.45. Okay, everybody, it's almost 6.45. I'm just going to check them out. So, sometimes these things take longer than normal, so. They take like a good hour sometimes. Just going to see. Oh, yeah. We'll leave them like for another half hour. Not even another 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. Perfect. At 6.43, we'll leave them for another 20 minutes. So it's only been a couple of minutes since I paused it before, but I just want to make sure the water is not all evaporating. You can add more water in here, which eventually you're going to, because you still have to put your carrots and your potatoes in there. So I am going to add the carrots because the meat's almost tender. So we're going to add the carrots in there, okay? You can also put green peppers in there, half of a green pepper, a whole green pepper if you like, red pepper, whatever color you want. You can add a whole onion in here, which I normally do, but today I didn't. You can add just about anything you want in here. I'm going to just turn this up a little bit. And if you, as you can see... The carrots are pretty much, there's, let me move this up. I don't want my video to shut off. Guys, pray for me. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're going to try to keep it here. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, I'm going to bring this to a boil, as you can tell. As you can tell, it needs water. Let me check another piece of meat here. Once your meat's tender, it's, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's pretty much, I'll put that one back in there, it's pretty much, you can see, let it cool off a little bit, my fingers can handle it, you can see it's really, mm, pretty tender, oh it's so good, but anyways, we're going to finish this up before my video cuts off, you see it's boiling again, I put the carrots in there, all right. I'm going to add just enough to, to cover the carrots. Remember before I said I might need to put a little more salt in here. We're going to let this boil for 15 minutes to get the carrots nice and soft. And at this point, I still don't need nothing else in there but the water. So you see the water is covering the carrots. That's what you want. It's covering the meat and the carrots right above it. Okay. I'm going to let it boil for 15 more minutes till the carrots get a little soft. I'm going to have it on high. So it's going to boil for 15 minutes. Remember, you put your meat in here with, with, with um, water. You cover your meat with water. You put your seasonings, adobo, garlic, sofrito. You can put an onion in there. You can put garlic. I mean, I'm sorry. You can put green pepper or red pepper in there, a whole one. Just put it in there. Clean the seeds out and put it in. You can um, add your adobo and your garlic. And two packs of sasong I used. Two packs of sasong. I only put one in, you see, but I did add the other one in between. So that's all you need. Season it to your taste, everyone. To your taste. Once your juice tastes like it's got the salt and it's got the right ingredients in it, that's all you need to do. But 
I put the garlic in there. Adobo. Two packs of sasong for everybody that doesn't know what sasong is. This is sasong. If you never used it before, they come in little packs. Uh-oh. Hubby's home. Don't slam the door. They come in little packs, and they have the ones that say achote. I use the ones with achote to turn it red. Yep, that's what you use. And you add sofrito, everyone. Sofrito. I use two big spoons like this, sometimes two and a half. Do not be afraid to use this. This is where all your seasoning is in. You see people who might do this, put two or three of these. Uh-uh, your meat ain't going to taste right, okay? They're trying to be pretty. They're trying to be cute. They're trying to put cute. But I know they put more than that in there. Because us Puerto Ricans, we use sofrito. We ain't afraid to use it. So two of these in your meat in a pan like this, okay? Two of these, two and a half. This is how much I use. Do not be afraid to use it. Two and a half of these in your meat. And I might have to add a little more once I add the potatoes and the rest of the water in there. But if you add it at the beginning, you might not have to add it at the end. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. And the carrots will get soft. Have the potatoes do. I let them go for another five minutes. Okay, so I will be back at 6.49. I will be back in five minutes. It's 6.49. So 49.51, That's 6.54. I will be back. <laughs> okay, everybody, it's 6.52, and I don't want my um, video to go bad on me because I'm almost done, and I don't have to redo it. So what I'm going to add now are the potatoes. I put three whole potatoes in there. You can cut them smaller than this if you want. You can actually cut them in, um, you can actually cut them this big if you like. I like my potatoes. My potatoes big, so I'm gonna keep them like this size. They're gonna stay this size. And you notice the potatoes are sitting over the water, right? So what you do, is you put water in there until I'm gonna put it back up high again there there so you're gonna let this come to a boil and I added that water in there and guess what I have to add just a little more, a very little of adobo because my potatoes are really heavy big and a little bit of garlic, not a lot, it really didn't need a lot, alright, and I'm going to add just one spoon of the sofrito and that's all it needs, trust me, this tastes so darn good, oh lord yeah. Oh my God, when I eat this, I'm going to be in heaven. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So remember, you chop your meat about this size. You can do it smaller if you want. Let me, let me pull one out just to show you. Ooh, that cut fat. You can chop it this small if you want. All right. You can chop your potatoes smaller. You can leave your carrots like this, or you can put them in just a half of a carrot. Cut your carrot just right in half. I like doing it like this because it cook, the carrots cook faster and I get more, mmm, yum, yum, yum. Oh my God. Oh, Heavenly Father, you guys, trust me. If you wanna dip a little more sasong in it for color, you can. I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna let it come to a boil. It is on high. Yes, it is on high. And your next step is, I will go over it all with you. 
take a spoon about like this. I don't use tomato sauce, that much tomato paste. If you want to put that much tomato paste in it, and the water is going to evaporate as it boils. So, the water is going to evaporate as it boils. So I'm going to let this come to a boil. Once it comes to the boil, the potatoes are done. It is ready. Remember, you can add a whole onion in there. And you can add green peppers. I didn't add one because I didn't have it. I normally do add a green pepper in, but I didn't have any more green peppers, so that's fine. I like to make these uh, my meals as easy as possible and cheap. So remember, you chop your meat up, you can chop it in half like that in pieces. Your carrots, you can dice them to that size or just cut them in half. Now I'm going to put onion, only because I mentioned it before, just to show you. You can throw that whole onion in there and it will boil with the potatoes. This is a really good, good, good meal. Remember, cut your meat up. You put like, um, I'll say when you chop your meat up and you put it in here, you put it, um, the water about that much over the meat, about an inch over the meat and let it come to season and everything. And then put another um, cup and a half, two cups of water, let it come to a boil. Once your meat is boiling for like about a half an hour, that means it's pretty much almost tender. You um, go to the next phase and adding your, uh, adding your carrots and your potatoes and this is the last step. This is the last step. So as soon as these potatoes are done, the meal is done. Ugh. Oh my God, Heavenly Father. It's so good. It is so good. Let this come to a boil. I'm gonna pause it for a little while so you guys don't have to stare at this meat boiling. It's 6.57 on, oh, 6.57 on my, on my stove. So I'll be back about 6.20, 6, 6.15, 6.20. Okay, while my meat is boiling, I'm going to go ahead and make my next, um, I'm going to go ahead and make a salad that's going to go with this. So you will have, I won't kill so much time doing that. So I'm hoping you can see the salad. I don't like moving my camera a lot, guys, because I have so much problems with it. So let me just try just a little bit. Okay, I think that's gonna. Anyways, I did rinse my lettuce out. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out again. So we're gonna get a little water on the counter. I throw out the first one. I don't chop my lettuce up in little, little pieces. Oh, I love lettuce. So, what I'm going to do is put it in the bowl. You can chop it up smaller if you want, or however you're, you like. Chop it up however you want. Whatever size you want. I do it like this size. There's different sizes in here. If I see one this big, I'll break it in piece. But yeah, you want it like about this. So, okay, and if I find big pieces in there, I just break them up. And then we're going to go with the tomato. This is really good with your, with your dinner. My husband says it's good with mouth. <laughs> One didn't chop up too fine, but we'll get it. Doesn't have to be perfect because it's going in your mouth, and we all know where it's coming through. So, yeah, and that we do there. I don't need this. 
it anymore. The back will go in the sink. I will continue to do this tomato since it's only a little bit left. There's only a little bit left, so we will just chop it up. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, my God. That I won't keep because it's the bottom part. So we'll just throw that in there. And I usually use a different knife, but I've been cooking for so long, I can use any knife in the kitchen, just about. And then I'll just break. Oh, that smells so good, oh Heavenly Father. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh my God. That smells good, hey, honey? My husband is standing here waiting patiently. Okay, and then I'm going to throw an onion in there. Yucky, I don't like that. You can slice the onion like, like this and put it in, which I'm going to do now. And I'm going to use a different knife. I'm going to use a smaller knife on this. Ooh, that's a little thick. That is a little thick, but that's that's fine. My husband loves onions. And my daughter. My daughter will come and eat this whole bowl of salad. Especially the onions. Normally what I do is I'll take an onion and I'll chop it like I did the tomato. Turn and chop it and then bring it through. But we're just happy with this here. These are just like the skimpy parts that I don't really like in there. And oh my god, don't tell me I don't have no more dressing. What I do is I use the zesty Italian. Okay, zesty Italian. I just squirt it on there. How much as you want? If you like, if you like a lot of, if you like a lot of, um, a lot of Italian zesty, and then I is add a little bit of, of, of um, olive oil in there. You don't have to. This is optional. You don't have to. And you can add any kind of dressing, any kind of dressing you want. And I sprinkle just a very little bit of salt. Very little bit. Just on it. Just to kill a little bit of that vinegar taste. There. And that's it. I don't know where, when these kids come, I don't know what they do with my spatulas. And then what you do is you just mix it around, okay? You just mix it. Oh. And that's the salad. So we will cover this up, and when the meal is done, I will show you. I will put this in the fridge. This salad, if you make it, you, you can keep it out for as long as you want, because when you put it in the refrigerator, it gets real soggy. So I, I recommend to keep it out. I can re recommend to keep it out. 24 minutes, not bad on this video. So... I will be back, everybody, as soon as these potatoes are done. As soon as these potatoes are done, I will be back and show you the results. I want to say for any reason that my video stops, I am done. So I'm going to repeat again. Chop your meat up. Add water in your seasonings. Don't have to fry your meat in there with the seasonings and no oil. I always cook my meat in water because meat always has a tendency of dripping oils so it comes out automatically you can tell right here there is 
oil right there if you can see it I'm pretty sure you can see it that's oil so meat drips meat drips oil anyway so always start cooking your meat in water would be the best I mean I recommend water because you're like I said you're getting oil look at the onion it's already getting soft by the time the potatoes are done the onion will be done you can add green peppers in here when you start it add your meat your water your seasonings a green pepper a red pepper if you want an onion onions green peppers are optional you don't have to put it in there but if you do oh heavenly father it's oh but your sofrito has green peppers and onions and garlic and cilantro in it already so you don't it doesn't matter if you don't have it so me as a poor person when i don't have i just cook meat with the potatoes seasoning and that's it when i don't have it because either way it's going to come out good because what makes it good is the is the sofrito but the sofrito is a must-have sofrito is a must-have as you can tell it's getting thicker so I'm gonna cover this up once the potatoes are done I will be back I think I explained it uh, enough where you cook your meat put water in there you add your sasson your adobo your garlic uh, you can add you add a little bit of oregano if you don't have oregano you don't need it oregano is optional oregano is optional you don't need it um if you don't have garlic garlic is optional because your sofrito already has garlic in it a little more doesn't hurt but you can add a whole garlic if you don't have powdered garlic um let me see what else because i like to explain this perfect so you don't have to keep looking at my video you know it's the easiest way you cook your meat boil it for a half an hour before you add your carrots 15 minutes later your carrots are mostly excuse me most likely done you're going to add your potatoes if your potatoes are this size if your potatoes are big like mine they're almost done then i recommend you the the cook them for longer but if they're you cut them in half you don't need to boil them that long once your potatoes are done then you know your food's done. Oh, Heavenly Father, that tastes so good. But yeah, your meat, with we'll cook your meat in two cups of water. Make sure when you put your meat in the pan, it's covering, the water is covering your meat. You add your seasonings again, your cilantro, um, your, I'm sorry, your sofrito, your garlic, your adobo, um, you can put black pepper in there. Your other oregano is optional. Your garlic is optional. You don't need it. Your main thing you need in here is your sofrito. And your adobo and sazon is all you need. Optional, you can put the oregano and the garlic powder if you have it. Or whatever seasonings you have. You can make this your own. Make this your own dish. I'm telling you, it is super good. Super, super duper good. So yeah guys, it's really super good. So everybody, when you make this video, would you please let me know how you liked it? What does, did it need? I guarantee you, it didn't need no seasoning. Put your sasson in the water, your seasoning, to your taste. If you don't like putting a lot of salt in your food, that's fine. But remember, pork will eat your salt. It sucks the salt right out. So keep that in mind. Rice too. But yeah, this is really super good. I mean, it's pretty much good. I want to just check my potatoes real quick. Oh my God, this is, I usually leave the cover off once it's off so my water can evaporate a little bit down and it get thicker. It, I recommend you, keep, once it's done, give it like a 15 minutes with the cover off so your water can evaporate and get thicker. That, I mean your juice, I'm sorry. So. 
I'm just going to check my potatoes real quick. Pretty much, I'll give them another, another five minutes. They're pretty much done. Another five minutes. And that's where it's going to stay off. So, yeah. That'll get thicker. Oh, remember if my video cuts off, it's done. It's done. There's nothing to it. There is nothing to it. Chop your meat in little pieces. Put water in your meat. Above your meat. Add your seasonings, your adobo. I'll put the um, description, on the description I will put everything. You'll put your adobo, sazon, and your garlic and oregano. Um, then you add your, you let, let your meat cook for one half hour. One half hour, you let it boil. You come back, you add your carrots. Now remember, if your meat is smaller than this, if your meat is smaller than this, good for you. A half an hour still. You want that meat real tender. So, you let it boil for a half an hour. Come put your carrots in. Let your carrots boil for 15 minutes. You come back and you put your potatoes in with your tomato paste. Um, I use tomato sauce because it makes, my, it makes the juice get thicker faster. If you see it, the juice will get thicker. Tomato sauce, you kind of got to like let it simmer and cool down so it can get... Uh, so you can get um with tomato sauce you how do you say it in English I forgot you have to with tomato sauce you have to let it like simmer for a while bless you you have to let it simmer for a while so to kind of get its thickness you know what I'm saying it'll be a little heavier see see how thick that's getting see see how thick that looks so yeah you notice it? It's bubbling thicker. I'll give it just a little closer so you can see it. You notice that it's bubbling thicker. It's not so watery like it was. And remember I told you about the oil. Always cook your meat in water because you get a little bit of oil all the time. Grease from your meat. So you don't need that meat in the pan to fry any kind of meat. You always start it off with water. Well, I do. So, but yeah. You notice it's getting thicker. Oh. My God, you guys, I'm going to pause this while I make a plate real quick, and then I will be back. If my camera cuts off, ladies and gentlemen, that was the end of it, but I will show you the plate results on the picture anyway. So I will be back, and when I come back, I will explain it again.